And good evening now we begin tonight with today's deadly storms as a quick moving system rolled through the Midlands, leaving a path of damage. A Columbia man lost his life after a tree fell on top of him as he was sitting outside in his backyard. News 19's Alicia Niaves has the story. I didn't even know the storm was there. Thursday afternoon, Paula Levy had just walked in her house in the 3000 block of Columbia Avenue when she heard an unfamiliar sound come from the backyard. And I heard that, that funny sound. I thought, I said, well, did it fall? And when I came to that door, I couldn't believe what I saw. Her younger brother, 61-year-old William George Levy, was in the backyard having a cigar and a snack. As strong winds hit the neighborhood, an oak tree snapped and landed on his chest. When it fell, it must have fallen and hit him and the walker caught it. It just tore up the walker. She ran to her brother. And I started screaming and yelling and hollering and running. I ran out here to try to get to him and everything. The tree was in the way and I tried to pull him up. I had to run back in the house to get that telephone and try to call 911 and everything. And it took me a little while to get 911 because all the lines were busy. Paula says she tried to revive Bill, but he was unresponsive. And I said, oh God, no, no, no. Jesus, no, why, why? It was scary. It was unbelievable. It freaked me out. Paula's niece, Wanda, rushed to the house after hearing about her uncle. She just spoke with him on the phone Wednesday night. He was the uncle that everybody loved to play on, or, um, chill with, have fun with, laugh. Freak accidents is something that is very unexpected. I wouldn't wish it on no one. Three hours after the storm, family members stood on the backyard ramp holding on to memories of Uncle Bill. Just keep the Levy family in prayer as we will get through this together. Alicia Neavis, News 19, WLTX.